it's Jessica Durrell. Thanks for checking out my Chatterbase Video Chat Rewind on Saturday Night Online. I've got a ton of your questions here in front of me, and um, yeah, let's get started. I'll answer some of them. Hi, Jessica, my cousin Jessica is getting married. <laughs> That's so cool how you two have the same name. Awesome. I can't believe you got to meet Justin Bieber. Do you think you could hook me up to meet him sometime? <laughs> um, you could try meeting him at the um, show June 23rd. It's in a few days. Connecticut. Um, I know a lot of stations are doing contests for that, so maybe you could try and win. <laughs> um, how is it like working with Justin? And what is he like on the inside? And this is from Alex Sanzo. Um, Justin's great. Uh, you know, we're really good friends, and his personality's absolutely amazing. He's hilarious. He's funny. He, you know, pulls pranks on me, and I try to get him back, but I don't think I'm as good as a prankster as him. So, <laughs> you know, we'll see how that goes on tour. Maybe I can get him good. And he's dreamy. Yeah. <laughs> he's dreamy. <laughs> of course. All you girls think that. Of course. All right. <laughs> Um, how is it working with Justin on the song Overboard, and how did you two meet? Okay, um, we didn't record it in the same room, like we did separately, because our schedules were too crazy to, you know, do it at the same time, but, um, you know, it's, it's cool to be able to do a song with your friends and stuff, I think it's awesome, and, um, it was, how did we meet? We met at dinner with Nick Cannon, because we were going over stuff for the Schoolgirls movie, which we were both in, um, and yeah, we had a lot of fun doing that. And so we've been just really good friends since then. And that's from Emily Hale. <clears throat> this next one is from... Ooh, wah, ooh, la, ooh, la. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I don't think I said that right. But, um, yeah, that's the username, so... Hey, sorry. <laughs> um, do you get nervous around the press when they ask you about your private life? No, not at all. I mean, you know, I don't have to say everything. You know, I just say as much as I can to, um, you know, let you guys know, you know, what I do and what's up. And, you know, talk to them about how I am on a regular day or what my life is like. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't think it's scary. It's, it's kind of fun to be able to um, talk to everybody about how I do things. Um, the next one... Let's see. It's from Maria Castro. And it's, how did you get signed? Love your music and style. Thank you! And um, I got signed because, well, I started singing when I was 11 and uh, recording when I was 12. And this amazing producer named Toby Gad, um, he saw my YouTube videos on my MySpace page, um, which is crazy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he took me over. You know, he was playing my songs in um, the Island Def Jam office. And L.A. Reid walked by and he was like, Who's that? And he was like, oh, this is my artist, Jessica Jarrell. You know, we're not ready to shop her to be signed yet, but, you know, I was just playing you some stuff. And he was like, no, we need to see her now. So, like, a couple days later, I was, like, in front of L.A. Reid, and I was like, oh, my God, are you serious? It was, it was, it was insane. I had the best time. Um, so, yeah, that's how I got signed. <clears throat> this is from Meezy? I don't think I said that right, but, yeah, Meezy17. <clears throat> Our Jessica Jarrell and Justin Bieber will have a music video for the song Overboard. Hope it will be soon because I love that song. Thank you! Um, hopefully, I think we might. Maybe. I don't want to say yes or no. Um, but yeah, I love the song too. It's uh, one of my favorites I've done. So I'm glad you like it. Thank you. <clears throat> what is your greatest fear from Cynthia? Scary movies. <laughs> I... You know, I love to watch them, but I always have to have, like, my mom walk me around the house after. She's always like, my brother's always like, Jessica, you can't watch the scary movie because nobody wants to walk you around the house everywhere. So, it's, it's funny. I mean, I have to be escorted because I feel like something's going to jump out and get me. So, yeah, I'm kind of a dork. <clears throat> what is the website for pastry shoes? That is from Dave Reynolds. <laughs> Um, it's <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why don't you just show him the shoes? Yeah. Let's, let's, show them the shoes. Lift the shoe up. Come on, let's see it. Hey. Oh, yeah. You like this pair? It's it's lovepastry.com. Um, I absolutely love their shoes. You know, um, being brand ambassador is awesome. It's, it's like, <laughs> it's like insane to be able to, um, you know, 
get shoes that you love and be able to, you know, talk about them and get people to buy them. Oh, you know you like them. At lovepatient.com, you'll see, like, they have heels, flats, sneakers, wedges, um, watches. I also have on a pastry watch and um, clothes and stuff. They're, it's great. I mean, their website is amazing. I've worn their shoes for a long time. So I'll be wearing them on tour. Well, you should tell how you um, got discovered doing that because that's a great answer to that question too. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, you know, I'm signed to Def Jam and I guess they were doing stuff with Def Jam and Def Jam showed me to them <laughs> and they were like, oh yeah, let's do it. And it's, it's weird because I wore them in middle school. I, I'm a sophomore now, but in middle school I wore them and, you know, I was really popular because I talked to everybody. As you can see, I talk a lot. And so um, <laughs> I was like wearing them and everybody was like, oh my god, I love your shoes. And so that was on a Friday. And, and then the Monday when we came back to school, like half the school had my pair of shoes. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> it was really cool though. So to be able to, you know, be brand ambassador for that after wearing them for such a long time is great. Really great. <clears throat> When are you going to come in France from Pauline Biebs? Hopefully soon. I mean, I, I'm learning to speak um, French. I can read it, some of it pretty good, um, but I can't speak it yet. So maybe some of you guys could teach me, you know, how to speak French. That would be awesome because I think it's great. But, um, yeah, hopefully very, very soon because I can't wait to go there. Is it cool if people tweet you in French? Yeah, it's very cool. I love, you know... Uh, getting tweets from the French fans and even um, um, people who tweet me in Spanish. You know, um, both of them, I use Google Translate to talk to you guys a lot. Uh, I'm learning from that though. You know, every time I type something, it's like, you know, I pick up on the words. And sometimes when you guys send me messages, I start to realize, oh, how are you, like, in your language. And so I'm really learning a lot from Google Translate. And so soon, soon I'll be able to, you know, not use that and just talk to you guys like whatever it'll be awesome <clears throat> when did you get your first kiss um from Elise Elisa I think I said that um hmm I think I was like 14 I'm 15 now so not too long ago I guess <laughs> but um yeah you just always want to make sure your first kiss is special mine was so make sure yours is too who is your celebrity crush from oh Elisa again I have like two I don't really know. It's the guy from the script. I should know his name, but I don't. I think I'm going to find out now. But I think he's really cute. And um, he's Irish, and I'm part Irish, too. So that's awesome. And I like Trey songs. Yeah. <laughs> Those two definitely are really cute. <clears throat> Does your dog really like cheese? From Jessica JMN. Oh, my God. I know you. On Twitter, we're always talking. Okay. Um, my dog does like cheese. It's, it's really funny because... He sings for cheese. Like, I'll be like, Butterscotch, let's sing. And, like, he'll start singing. I'll videotape that one day. But he'll start singing, and I'll give him cheese. Or if he's being really bad, and, like, he won't come back because he ran off, like, I'll be like, you want some cheese? And then he'll just fly into my house. It's hilarious. So, yeah, he likes cheese. Um, my Twitter is at Jessica Drell, by the way. Make sure you follow me. If you're not following me, follow me. Whether you're French, Spanish, Irish, American... Whatever you are, I'll, I'll reply to you in your language. I'll try. But, um, yeah, it's uh, Jessica Jarrell. <clears throat> How long does it take to do your hair in the morning? I love your music, Jessica, and you're really pretty. I love you. Aw, thank you so much. That's from, let's see, um, Kieran? There's like, it's like K-I-E-R-E-N. Well, it takes me about maybe a half hour. Um, not too long, because usually I just, if I'm not wearing it like you guys see on my Twitter, I'm usually straightening it or wearing it like this, so it's like a half hour, but if, if I do it like, um, my pictures and you guys are seeing on my Twitter and stuff, it takes, I think it's still around 30, 40 minutes, um, but usually my hairstylist does it, so it takes him way less time than it takes me, so, yeah, it, it, I love my hair too, he, he's amazing, Larry Sims, shout out. <clears throat> I adore you. You're so cute. That's not a question, but thank you, Guy Believer. Aw, thank you. Did you and Justin write Overboard, or did you just record it together? That's from Anna Carolina. Um, no. We didn't write it or record it together. 
um, I can't remember uh, the name of who wrote it, but um, I think it's a great song. And we didn't record together, but it still came out really, really great, and it was one of our favorite songs, so that's cool. I'm sorry I'm, like, coughing. I'm losing my voice, kind of. I've been talking so much. Um, okay, let's see. <clears throat> Will you and Justin sing together in more songs in the future? That's from Believe in Bieber. Nice username. All right, um, hopefully. I mean, that would be really, really cool. Um, I think, you know, a lot of you guys have been telling me on Twitter and uh, YouTube how much you love Overboard, so I think it would be cool to, you know, give you guys another song. That would be awesome. What do you think of Justin Bieber from Victoria? There's, it's Victoria or Victoria. There's no C, but um, if that's just a different name, it's awesome. What do I think of Justin Bieber? He's he's crazy. He's cool. He's he's you know, like I said, funny and a really good friend of mine. So, and he cares about his fans too. I like that about him. I like when people you know take time to reply and you know try and care about their fans. Hi, I just wanted to know, when you first started to work on School Girls, was it really hard and scary for you? And that's from Ali D. No, it was not hard or scary at all. It was so much fun. And um, that's when I really decided I wanted to do a lot of acting. So I hope to do, you know, more of that in the future. But that was a really fun set to be on because Nick Cannon is absolutely amazing. You know, he knows how to be professional, but still help you get through your lines so that you're not like, um, everybody's looking at me and I feel awkward. So, yeah, it, it's a lot of fun to, um, you know, shoot a movie and stuff. Plus, you're surrounded by people who are really cool, like the whole cast. We're all really good friends now. Um, I love doing that. Shout out to the school girls. Holla! Hey! <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, who are, who are your inspirations? That is from Steph XO. I love Beyonce and Rihanna. Uh, they're absolutely amazing. They're, Beyonce's vocals are crazy. Rihanna, too. Her songs, everything about them, like, you know, they made me want to really start singing, especially Beyonce, because I started listening to Rihanna um, when she did Umbrella. So then I just really took some of her influence, and I was like, I love this girl. So... Both of them are really, really great. And Rihanna's on um, Def Jam, too, so that's awesome. I freaked out when I found out. <clears throat> Let's see. Where are you from? That is from... Who is that from? Steph XO. Again, I am from um, Diamond Bar, California. It's like, you know, kind of by L.A. But yeah, I grew up there. I like it. It's, it's nice and, you know, kind of quiet, but still... It has a little bit of something going on, so it's it's nice and safe. What's your favorite thing to do when you and your friends hang out? From Jackie. Um, okay, just I'm just gonna say Jackie. <laughs> when me and my friends hang out, um, I like to you know go shopping a lot. I I do that all the time and uh, go to the movies. I love movies. It's just it's cool like seeing people play somebody other than themselves. Like I loved Miley Cyrus and um. The last song. That was a good movie. I, th I thought she did a great job with that. What's my three favorite colors? From, uh, oh, Jackie again. I'm so glad you asked me that because usually people say, what's your favorite color? And I don't have one. I have three. Like, exactly three. That's great. Okay. Black, pink, and blue. Um, I don't like them together. Like, I like them each separately. I just can't figure out which one is my favorite. So, those are my three favorite colors, though. What would you do if you answered the phone and it was Beyonce from Steph XO? <laughs> I would probably scream. No, I'd be like, oh my god, I'd probably flip out and like hold the phone out and be like, Mom, guess who called me? But yeah, I, I definitely, and I'd tell her how great she is and how she inspired me to do everything I'm doing. So, that's what i do. Do you crack your knuckles? <laughs> Jackie. Um, yes, <laughs> I have to say. I crack like, oh, they won't crack right now, but I crack everything. It's weird. I crack my neck and my back, too. Like, it's just, after a long day of dancing, you just need to, like, stretch, and every time I stretch, things crack, so, yeah. Yeah. It gets on my mom's nerves, too. <laughs> All right. Sorry, he's cracking his knuckles in the background. All right. <clears throat> Hey, don't forget to tell everyone that you, uh, you're going to pick a winner for some pastry shoes at the end of the, yeah. the chat. 
Whoever's question I like the best. Whoever asked the best question, I'm picking a winner to um, win some pastry shoes. Pastry cakes. Hey. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Would you ever I chat with a fan? From Jackie. Ah, uh, sure. Why not? Be cool. Jess, I'm a huge fan. Jarrell Ranger. Jarrell Rangers! What's up? Okay. <clears throat> Wanted to know if you're planning on doing your own tour. Um, that's from Steph. Um, probably sometime, um, after, you know, me and Justin's. I'm, that's the main one I'm really excited about and focused on right now. Um, because it's gonna be a great tour. But, um, I'll definitely probably do one of my own a little bit later. How is working with Justin Bieber? I can't wait till you guys come to Cincinnati this month. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be good. That's from Bieber Dancer 94. It's gonna be great. I can't wait to come to that show either. Um, I, I can't wait to have a lot of fun with you guys, because when I perform, I like, you know, looking at you guys and playing with you guys and messing with you guys. So that, that's gonna be crazy to see, you know, everyone dancing and having fun and singing along with the songs. What's your favorite holiday? My favorite, that's from Jackie. You asked a lot of questions. Okay. But my favorite holiday is probably Christmas because it's it's a happy, like, fun holiday. And me and my family, we go all out. We decorate everything. <laughs> and, like, you know, I cook and everyone just brings a lot of cool things. And um, I like getting homemade presents, too, for my family. Like, they, um, some of them made me a blanket. And it has stars and music notes, which are my two favorite shapes. So I thought that was pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, so that's my favorite holiday. Plus, it's around my birthday. My birthday is January 1st. So, yeah. Mm, what's your middle name if you have one? From Jackie. Um, my middle name is Lauren. Yeah. <laughs> um, my mom calls me that when I'm in trouble, by the way. She's always like, Lauren? And I'm like, what? What did I do? <laughs> But yeah, it's Lauren. I think I hear your mom saying that in the background. <laughs> Lauren. <laughs> oh. Lauren. <laughs> Ooh, I don't Lauren. think I did anything right now. I didn't do anything bad. See, they're just messing with me now. Because don't scare me. You, think, you make me think I got in trouble for something. Maybe she's reading through my phone text messages. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, let's see. How old are you? From Justin Bieber Lover 01. Nice username. Uh, I am 15. Yep, my birthday's January 1st, like I said. And um, I can't wait to be 16 so I can have a big party. Okay. <laughs> um, what's your favorite type of music to sing? By from oh, the same person, Justin Bieber Lover 01. Um, I like to sing the music that I sing, pop slash rhythm. But um, I like to listen to a lot of rock. Like, I love um, Adam Lambert and Paramore and, like I said, the script. I, I love a lot of, a lot, I can't talk today. <laughs> I love all kinds of music. Like, I listen to country, I listen to rock, I listen to rap, um, you know, R&B, pop. I listen to everything because I just, I think it's cool to have an appreciation for all kinds of music because it, you know, makes you be able to see more when you're making your own songs. Um, do you like singing? <laughs> From Justin Bieber forever. Four. I like that. Um, of course I like singing. I like singing and I like acting. Like I said, I want to do, um, a lot of that, you know, a little bit down the road. That would be really cool to be in some more movies. I love singing, just like Justin Bieber and all those other people. <laughs> I want to be a singer. What should I do? From Justin Bieber forever four again. Um... You should just stick to it, like, no matter what. If you if you love something, I say just do it, you know? Um, have fun with it, uh, with whatever you're doing, like, singing. If you're making videos, you know, I'd say do that and put them on YouTube. Don't be afraid of, like, hate comments or anything. Just, you know, whatever. Like, don't let anybody ever bring you down with anything. Um, so, you know, do your thing. And I'd say, yeah, post videos and, and make sure you're having fun. Jessica, when you got signed to Mercury Records slash Island Def Jam, what did they do to develop you? What's the inside story of this journey you've been going through? From, oh gosh, I can't say this. 
Janesso? Sorry. Um, yeah, but I, I kind of went there with most of my album done and ready, so... You know, I went through some photo shoots and stuff, which was fun. I absolutely love that. And um, I did a lot of dancing, you know, with my choreographer. A lot of dance rehearsals. Um, and I love dancing. I've been dancing since I was like six. It's it's one of my favorite things to do, especially on my spare time. Even if I'm not working, I like dancing. But um, yeah, I did a lot of that and photo shoots and stuff. So I had a lot of fun. Do you have a crush on Justin Bieber? From from Lilla's girl, <laughs> eighteen. No, I don't have a crush on Justin Bieber. Um, he's my homie. Like, I couldn't I couldn't think of it like that. No. I have, uh, I have a crush on. Him. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. Um. Okay. Um. What? <laughs> Just keep answering questions. Okay. I got a crush on him. Nobody asked me that. Okay. Uh, I don't. I, you guys can have him. Totally. Totally can have him. Um. Okay. Next question. By the way, shout out to everybody on Saturday Night Online. I love you guys. Um, okay. What's your race from It's Karina 07? I am black, white, Native American, and Irish. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Mixed up. All right. <clears throat> I love your song 24-7. Thank you. Are you opening up for Justin Bieber on his My World tour? That's from It's Karina 07. Absolutely, I'll be on the whole tour this summer. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun. And thank you so much. I, I love 24-7. But I have a new single called Up and Running. And um, yeah, check it out. It's, it's my favorite song on the record, I think. And the guy who wrote it is amazing. I had the best time recording it and stuff. So I think you guys will really like it. It's, real, it's a really relatable song. I can relate to it. I think you guys can too. So yeah, go check it out and see what I'm talking about. Um, have your CD came out yet? <laughs> From, it's Karina. Uh, no, not yet. It will be later this summer. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. No name yet for it, but I can't wait to figure that out. They should tweet your name suggestions. That'd be great. Yeah! Tweet, um, send me, um, um, tweets, um, for name suggestions. Why can't I talk today? Help me. Okay, name suggestions for the title of my album. Oh my god. Okay, you're a genius. Yeah. Send it to me. At Jessica Jarrell. Please. Because it'll be really cool if we pick, like, one of your names for my album. That'll be awesome. That'll be crazy. <clears throat> In your opinion, what is the best thing about being famous and why? And that's from... That's from... Let's see. Gabby. Yeah, Gabby. Okay. I would have to say being able to, you know have a platform and send a message to people like you know in my songs I like to like I said have them be relatable so you know being able to do what I love to do and have you guys love it also it's, it's great and um, of course you know getting to go to events and stuff like the Grammys and MTV Awards and all that, that that's a lot of fun and the photo shoots it's you know it's, it's a lot of fun to be famous it's, you get to do a lot and um, travel and do a lot of things you wouldn't be doing if I was just like hanging out, you know? So I think it's really cool. And I get to, you know, talk to a lot of people, like my fans and stuff. It's great to be able to have a lot of friends like that. You guys are like friends to me. So it's great to be able to talk to more than just a few people. Like if I was just at home doing nothing, I would only have a few friends. But like being able to sing and have you guys like it and then get to talk to you on Twitter, MySpace, you know, YouTube, it's great. It's a lot of fun. Let's see. Jessica. Let's see. Come famous and how to be famous. How to be famous. There's like an error in this, but I'll answer it. <clears throat> it's from Anna. I'm going to say her name because I can't read the username. But it's from Anna. How to be famous. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Be yourself and make videos. 
start a comedy channel on YouTube. I like, I, th I think, I was thinking about doing that also, you know? I mean, I don't know if you guys would like subscribe. Maybe. That would be pretty cool. Maybe I should just, you know, make a show with somebody or something. But yeah, do whatever you like to do and just make it on YouTube, I guess. Because that's where everybody's at right now. Jess, we're going to have to wrap it up in about four minutes because we've got rehearsal, okay? Just so everyone knows. <laughs> okay. Give me, give, give me a second because I'm, I'm finishing this. So the, I want to answer your questions. You're the boss. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, first, I love your voice and the question. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And the question, what's your favorite color? Um, that's from Odie Theodora. Well, like I said, I have three. And um, that's, uh, I, I think, let me pick a main one out of those three, because it's, it's time to stop messing around. I think I like black. Okay. <laughs> I like black, but I love pink and blue, but I think black is the one I wear the most. Let's put it that way. And, you know, I just like that it's, it gives you a, like, kind of rock star edge. So, I like black. That's what I'm going to go with. Um, how is it to do out with Justin Bieber? From... Marit14, I hope I said that right. It's great, like I said, you know, being able to work with friends is always fun. Um, you never want to work with people, like, that are mean or something, so if, if you already know them, then it's like, you know you're going to have fun, like, working and doing whatever. But it's also cool to work with new people that you don't know, because, you know, you can make more friends and stuff, so working with Justin is great. And um, I also have Sean Kingston on my album, um, who's going on tour with us, and... He's really, really cool. I love both of them so much. They're really awesome people. So working with them, both of them, was just amazing. And, um, yeah, I, th I think I have to go to rehearsal now before I get uh, in trouble. Why don't you do a couple of more and then kind of think about what your, what would the best question was. That'll okay. Do two more questions and then okay. just hit us with a winner because gotcha. we really need to get you out on stage. Okay. Let's see. Which is your favorite song um, from Incredibles? I hope I said that right. Um, on my album or a song? I'll say I'll say my favorite song from my stuff and my favorite song from like other artists. <laughs> All right. Um, my favorite song of mine, like I said, is my single "Up and Running," and. Uh, my favorite song from another artist, I'm going to have to say it's That Should Be Me by Justin, because that song, it seems so sad, like, it, it really touched me when I listened to it, it's like, you know, I get in a mode and I want to cry, like, I'm not going to think about it because I don't want to cry right now, but like, <laughs> you know, when you listen to that song, it's just he sounds really, like it meant something to him, so I love that song, and I think he did a great job with it. So now, what we've all been waiting for. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> Alright, um, so let's see. My favorite question was... Oh, this is going to take me a second. Sorry. Um, hmm. They were all good. I know. They're all good questions. I can't. I'm trying to figure out which one. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I'm stuck. You know what I would do? What? Just to be fair, since yeah. we have to go to rehearsal. Yeah. You should think about it during rehearsal and tweet it out. So what will happen is is that we can get yeah. you to rehearsal, Good idea. you can think about it, and then you can tweet it out to everyone. So they just got to make sure they're following you. So okay. you give out your Twitter again. Right. It's at Jessica Jarrell. Little like at sign, Jessica Jarrell. And all of a sudden, you know, say maybe in a half hour from now, 45 yeah. minutes, yeah. a tweet will go out. And, and then uh, uh, the good people at Saturday Night Online will track you down. Yes. Be Let's ready. Do it. Be ready with your shoe size, baby. Exactly. Because I'm going to tweet out my favorite one. So, um... Yeah, Twitter, at Jessica Jarrell. Love you.